Where does that other sock go? Sorry, Rachel. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Bros will be bros. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Max Caulfield, Moral Avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Welcome to 1950. I bet you do. I guess I should consider this evolution. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Sometimes. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Some poor hipster lost their vape. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right?
This must be for training kids. Boys' locker room is right. I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Now I have the power over light and death. So, the big plan is, win. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Chloe just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Hello, still waiting for the light. Hello, still waiting for the light. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby, it feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? 
You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? I don't know. Well, I do, okay? So, just listen to Captain Chloe. I'm trying. As long as we don't waste this power. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Ew. I don't want any Blackwell bros over me. There's a couple cute guys there, but... They probably think I'm a total nerd. Uh, nerds are hot. You just don't have any confidence yet. Unfortunately, that didn't come with my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! My power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. Where are they? Hello? 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 Where are they? Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. We are so invisible. Let's bail.
Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash with a Blackwell security officer I just busted lives so I'll be safe? Okay. Into the car! Get in! <laughs> Later, fuckers! Max, you rock! We are so fucking awesome! <laughs> yes, we so are. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. But Julie knows a party at some actor's west side. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Chloe seems more relaxed now that she has that money from the handicapped fund. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? No, too easy. And there's too much shit going on now. Oh, okay, queen of the world. I'll try not to remind you of when we were besties anymore. Rachel loved hanging out with me here. She would have understood. Forget it. Chloe seems more relaxed now that she had. I love this morning light. 
Wouldn't it be wicked if... I bet you and Rachel liked hanging out here too. You know it. She reminded me of you when we faked sleep so our parents wouldn't make us get up too early Saturday morning. Did you guys have a lot of sleepovers? As many as possible. But it was more fun at her place. Step Commando wanted us up at the ass crack of dawn. It's cool to be back here with you. Hey, lazy ass, put some clothes on. And we can scarf the awesome breakfast Joyce is cooking up. Hey, lazy ass, put some clothes on. And we can scarf the awesome breakfast Joyce is cooking up. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Can't compete with Rachel. Jesus. Now I am glad Chloe took that money. This guy is serious and scary. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. Can I check out the news on this old laptop? Oh, at least we haven't been identified. Yet. I have to go. Especially since Kate's parents aren't going to bury her here. I love this song. What was normal in the evening by the morning seems insane. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know sure Chloe kept this stuff. The trouble was that started all of this. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. But the feeling never did. It's not something I would recommend. Put some clothes on first, Hillbilly. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back somehow. I could have hid in the closet and then David wouldn't be on my case. I don't think I'll be moshing today. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. If you want, go ahead and check out the closet for some fresh clothes. I could have hid in the closet and then date. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. I am so going to best unfriend you for that. I love that Chloe is so fearless. I bet you totally used your rewind to Mac on me just so you could act like you didn't. Come on, girl, confess. I bet you totally used your rewind to Mac on me just so you could act like you didn't. Come on, girl, confess. I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me.
Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Check you out, Max. Ready for the runway. Go downstairs and show Joyce. She'll love it. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. Amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Check out Mad Max, <laughs> ready to fucking thrash. I'm so hardcore. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. It feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine and hiding. Chloe never used to care when I borrowed her toothbrush. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. Nobody in this town has a fucking clue as to what's happening. Or do they? For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. This might be the one time these people are right. Looks like a message. David, this is Officer Korn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Oh, look at the poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool.
Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. I wonder how these birds died. Sitting in a swing always feels so comforting. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. Who drinks beer this early around here? Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Oh, look at the poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Wowzer, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. I should evolve and become a vegan, but... Oh, bacon. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? What? Uh, no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, 
just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. And when you took the rap for that joint, you proved it. Thanks, but it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me, what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Oh, jeez, can you help me get this bird out of here? I guess nobody waters the plant. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I guess See, nobody waters the plant here. Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. I bet David has all of his surveillance secrets in his laptop. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try Stepdad for the password.
nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? I still need to find the password to David's computer. David has been dragging his head around since 2001? Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. I still need to find the password to David's computer. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Oh, I should know that Chloe can't get through an hour without creating drama. No need to go there now. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, 
What have you done besides get in trouble? Listen, we don't know that David did anything and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. Max, I appreciate you sticking up for David. And our family. Even if Chloe doesn't. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. Locked. What the hell is this? Ugh, gross. More I hope she finds a nice T-bone to keep the doggy busy. What is going on here? Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses, now dying animals? Holy shit. Morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. 
What's next, a tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? I'm a fisherman, no scientist. I know the sea is warming, but this is something new. It may be worse. What do you mean, worse? If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay... Sorry, I'm just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Like I said, I'm done talking about this. That would be cool to be a trucker for a while. Always on the road. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Worst interview ever. Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of goddamn Arcadia Bay. The whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, that slut suicide. Listen, Kate Marsh was not a slut. She was severely depressed for good reasons. You didn't even know her, did you? I know all these Blackwell spoiled shit. Like that other loser I'd see around here, Rachel. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Uh, do they teach English over at that arty farty school? I'm done talking. Over and out. Uh, do they teach English over at that arty farty school? I'm done talking. Over and out. That would be cool to be a trucker for a while. Always on the road. Hey. Peachy. Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here. And I that sucks. Wish I could drive. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Hell, even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? No. Peachy. Worst work is that suck. Wish I I you nope. Yes, another great day in Arcadia Bay. Look at that. So sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing shot. So ominous. I hate seeing old women on the street like that. <sighs> nice world. Hi, how are you? I remember you. 
I heard about that girl killing herself at Blackwell. Mm, awful thing. Kate Marsh. I was with her when she jumped. I tried to save her. I swear I did. Oh, honey. That was her choice, not yours. Don't you carry that weight. Too late. And I had the power to change things. The more power you think you have, the less you do. Kate Marsh probably felt like she had nothing no more. I know the feeling. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me, so I see everybody and everything. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit just has a bad aura, as we used to say. He also drugged the girl who jumped. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. There's nothing to tell. If you don't want to share, you don't have to. I'm just an old homeless woman. Please let me know if you need anything. A warning. Once you decide to tell me what you know. I really need to be alone. Just go away. Please. I heard. It's been a sad week at Blackwell. It's a sad world, Max. But you're so damn young. Oh, if I could go back and be your age again. I truly wish I could help you. You did the last time you talked to me. Now you look like you could do with help of your own. Just to find some answers. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. Frank Bowers knew Rachel. Have you seen him around? I heard him bragging that he took a gun from some trespasses. I don't know how he hasn't been arrested yet. Sounds like you know a lot. I just think our... Maybe you could like... There's... Maybe... Please... A war... I heard. I think it's all connected to Rachel Amber's disappearance. A lot of things in Arcadia Bay are connected to Rachel. I think Joyce's husband David has something to do with all this. He's an uptight ass. But I think he just wants something to do. Like make life hell for me and his family? Sounds like you know it. I just... Kate Marsh. Oh. I know. I'm starting to see that I can't change everything. Especially when it comes to other people. Kate Marsh probably felt like she... But I need to... I'm probably... That... He... Maybe 